Welcome back to another Bomb and Gouge golf video. Today we are at my home course, Locust Hill Golf Course in Charlestown, West Virginia, for another fun video. So we're going to switch it up again, trying to keep you on your toes with the formatting. So it's another solo video, but today I'm going to try to shoot the course record. Let me explain. If you haven't seen, Bryson DeChambeau shot 58 at the Greenbrier on the Live Tour a couple of weeks ago, and in some of his post-round interviews, he was talking about what helped freed him up mentally to be able to take it lower and lower and lower instead of getting kind of complacent and holding on to that good score that we have going like a lot of us golfers do. And uh, the one thing he said he did was he would go and shoot uh, from the red tees, uh, from the very forward tees to try to kind of get comfortable going low. So I haven't done it in a while. I used to do it when I was in college and uh, the game's kind of trending in the right direction right now, but I need to kind of help break that barrier um, if you didn't watch the Pelican Lakes video, I had a chance to get it to three under and I just kind of held on the last couple holds, but I want to really create that mindset of going lower and lower. So this is the first of this series. I'm going to try to shoot the course record, which is 63 out here from the Reds. Almost every par four is drivable, so I'm going to try to send driver. I'm not laying up. I'm not hitting iron off the tee. I'm still going to send driver, but we're going to try to shoot the course record. So hope you enjoy this content. If you do, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel and, uh, and look for more videos like this coming in the future. With all that being said, let's head to the first tee, uh, par four, 331 yards, full send. Let's go. Roasted, let's go. Nice little poke here, straight out the car. Um, no warm up, no balls on the putting green, no, nothing on the range, so pretty good little poke. Got about, I don't know, 20 yards or so, kind of a tuck pin. Gonna be tight, uh, tough to get it close, but we're gonna try our best. Let's go. That was pretty horrific. Not gonna lie, that was bad. <laughs> So not a bad par to start there. I haven't played since I was in Colorado, which was just over three weeks ago. Um, so greens are a little different, course is a little different, um, and swing just feels like it needs a little bit of time to get back. So par to start, par five coming up. Hopefully we can make an eagle here. Par five here, 501, pretty much straight away. Got OB on both sides. Historically a tee shot I've always struggled with, but never done it from the red, so I'm going to try to pump one down there, see if I can have a uh, shorter mid-iron into this par 5. It's going to be close. We'll see. Alright, here I am. We got 187 in. Um, not the best of lies. Kind of a back pin. I think they're releasing a good bit, so I'm going to try to play this about 175 and see if we can get it back there get a look at Eagle. That thing came out hot. So caught a bit of a flyer out of there. Got uh, fluid over the green, kind of right at the stick. Um, so got a delicate one, kind of short side myself here, but I'm gonna try to get this up and down. I absolutely need to birdie the par fives to even stand a chance. So I'm gonna try to hit a tight one here. All right, so pretty stress-free birdie there. Um, pretty good drive, nice approach. Did everything I needed to do there. So one under after two, one of the toughest tee shots on the course from the Reds um, for how far I hit my driver coming up number three. So if I can make it through this hole with a par birdie, I feel very good about my round. Par four here, 313, so totally drivable. We got OB down the right. Um, you can see the pen out there in the distance. Got a pond going down the left. Very difficult tee shot. See if I can thread the needle, get it up there, at least close to the green, to get myself a birdie look. Shoot. Get down. Oh, hazard. Dang it. Unfortunately, pulled that one into the hazard. Kind of, I don't know, 
bad swing thoughts are just never good. It's a tough tee shot regardless, and I just kind of bailed out away from the OB, but it is what it is. So here's my ball here. I'm going to have about, I don't know, 40 yards to the pin here. See if I can save my par. That'd be a huge round saver. Big hop, big hop, big hop and run. Brutal. Well, not a good wet shot there, but uh, let's see if we can get this up there, nestle it up, get my bogey, get out of here, and take my medicine. Um, still a lot of good birdie opportunities uh, in front of us, so let's not do anything stupid here. All right, well, bogey's a bogey. There was only a couple holes on this course from the Reds that I was really worried about the tee shot on, and this was one of them, so now well, that one's come and gone. Um, still even after three. A lot of par fives, a lot of short par fours coming up, so let's keep sending it. All right, par four here, 320, kind of dead straight away. Got OB right, creek running down the left. Uh, historically, another hole that I've struggled with off the tee, usually would just hit an iron, but we're going to send it. See if I can nut up and hit a good tee shot and give myself an eagle look. Let's go. There it is, free swinging, baby. That ball was ripped. Green side. One thing I forgot to mention is that this is my very first time hitting my brand new driver. I got fit for a new driver out at uh, TrueSpec out in Colorado and just came in the mail yesterday. So this is my very first time even hitting it. Haven't hit it on the range. So I kind of am noticing a little bit of a left tendency, but that time I kind of aimed down the right and uh, hit, swung hard, which is what I was doing out at the fitting. And, um, and that thing was a bullet there, so. First couple missed drives, kind of expected first time with the new big dog, but this thing is a beast and I'm excited to see uh, how this continues to help my game. So let's go here. All right, so there's my drive there right in the bunker. Unfortunate, it was perfectly pin high here. Uh, but we're gonna try to hit a good bunker shot. Leave myself a good birdie look. Well, there's where my ball ended up. Caught a little skinny out of there. I'm gonna try to chip this one in here. Oh, <laughs> I thought I made it. <sighs> That's annoying. Bummer there. I was about to give it the old tiger fist bump on that one, but par is a par. Can't have too many more of them though. Shoot 63, you got to go to nine under, so I'm even through four. Got a lot of work to do, so probably going to need a couple big birds in there, but we're going to keep grinding. All right, par three here, 112 to the stick. Kind of a tucked pin again. A lot of these pins are kind of protecting uh, these greens today. Um, got a bunker to the right and to the left. Should be able to throw a dart there, I don't know, maybe 10 feet left of the pin. Give myself a good look for birdie. Oh, go. Oh. That was just not a good shot. Gosh darn it. Well, there's my ball there. Pretty much perfect distance. Just kind of blocked it a little bit. Um, kind of a very difficult, again, tucked uh, chip here. So going to have to have good little hands here, little hot mitts, and hit it close. Let's go. Another stress-free par there. If only I could have those chips for eagle and have those tap-in birdies. That's what I'm trying to do here. Drive it at least, you know, right off the green to have easy little up and down. So chipping's hot. Um, game feels okay. On to number six here. Hey, it is Thursday night, which means it is wing night out here at Locust Hill. My favorite wings around, little honey old bay. A little sneaky sauce, the bourbon sauce. Absolute cash money. Make sure you check those wings out if you live around the area area they are bomb par four here 268 so very reachable i'm actually going to hit a three wood my three wood number is about 270 so it should be a perfect little three wood um, pretty gettable hole here have to make birdie if i really want to have a chance of shooting this course record end up 
bunker again. God darn it. Oh, actually, my got past it. I take that over the bunker. All right, so not a bad leaf here. Just kind of right off the back of the green. Pins all the way in the front, so I'm going to kind of guess on how far to fly it, but I'll try to fly it about halfway. I don't think it's going to have very much spin coming out of this rough. So try to get to release of the pin, give ourselves a good look. Release. Release. Oh. Played that pretty much how I wanted to. Just didn't release. Got about 20 feet left here for birdie. This has to go. Need to start making a move here. Oh, disappointing par there. Just really leaving myself very difficult up and downs. Um, really hitting the ball well. Just leaving myself some tough, tricky shots and not making the putts. Goes to show, it doesn't matter if you play the Reds, you still have to score, you still have to get the ball in the hole. So even par through six, gonna have to make an absolute crazy move on the back nine to even have a chance. Every time I get the bourbon wings out here, which is, I love that sauce. Reminds me of Bobby Boucher. When he showed up at halftime, he said, Remember that time Bobby Boucher showed up at the halftime and, and the mud dogs run the boy bit bowl, do you? Par three, number seven, 112 yards. Same exact yardage as the last par three. Easiest pin on this hole, so finally we get an easy pin. I'm gonna try to throw a dart here. Need a birdie. Average. Well, I blocked that last wedge, so I played that one a little left and hit a dead straight. So, gotta love that. <laughs> Birdie look nonetheless. So, there's my shot right off the front there. Kind of hit pin high and sucked back, but got about 25 feet for Birdie. I'm gonna try to give it a run. Bars are no good when you try to shoot the course record. I do want to add, greens are way slower out here than they were in Colorado. I ran it quite a few by, like eight to 10 feet out there, and I think it scarred me a little bit. I need to get, need some time to get over that scar tissue, but even par, easiest par five on the course coming up here. So if I can go eagle, birdie to finish, go crazy on the back nine, you never know what happens, so let's go. All right, par five number eight, 410 yards. You got a creek running down the left, OB running down the right. My line off the tee is gonna to try to just carry to the right side of that bunker. If I hit a good one, we should only have like 70 or 80 yards in and have a good eagle look, so let's send it. <laughs> that was hammered. Big one there. Hey man, I know a lot of these people on YouTube, on the shorts, like to talk shit to me, but I just wanna show y'all this 407 from the T. I'm still driving up, still driving up, still driving up, dr still driving up. That's a kid song, in case you haven't noticed. Uh, just kidding, it's not, I just made it up. But look, there's my ball, we're coming up to it. We are on the cart sign just short of the green. So, all you people that are on YouTube that are on the YouTube shorts. I would never just drive back to do that. That's absolutely absurd. 407 from the T, right off the front edge. Hit that about 370. Absolute nuke. So I don't know. Hope you believe this now. And it didn't even matter. I'm now fully aware that my wedge game is absolute trash. And if I want to get better, that's probably what I should work on. <laughs> okay, unfortunate mishap there. Just a terrible wedge shot, really is what it comes down to. I got about 25 feet for eagle though, so try to make this and get some positive momentum. Going to number nine, another short par four. Well, we got to under par. 
had uh, 50 yards into a back pin on a 407 yard par five and walked away with birdie. Quite disappointing, but I need to work on my wedge game. <laughs> on to number nine, short par four, drivable. Let's see if we can take it lower. All right, par four, number nine, last hole of this video, 260 yards. Uh, you can see the green through the trees. I'm gonna try to hit a little high feather three wood up there on the green, make an eagle and get the three under and head into the back nine. After a horrendous tee shot there, just did not feel comfortable over that. Um, kind of dead right now. I got 135 yards. I'm either going to have to go up and over or through that little chute there. I think I'm going to go up and over and just try to hoist one to get it on the green. Two putt and get out of here. Turned a drivable par four into a mess of a hole, but let's try to recover here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, be good. Wait till you see where this shot ended up. <laughs> One of the best shots of the year. Holy cow. That was most certainly top five shots of the year for me. Went from absolute certain death, nothing in front of me, to just hitting and praying, sending up over the trees. And now I got about 10 feet for birdie. One of the best shots I've hit in a while. Let's try to capitalize here. Ooh. Gosh darn it. That is annoying. It is what it is. I'm not playing great. I'm not putting great. Got to get the flash stick hot. But we're one under, heading to the back nine. Going to need an absolute crazy back nine to even have a chance. Uh, I don't see it happening at this point, but it, I'm going to just try to keep focusing. Instead of focusing on a score, one shot at a time, and try to hit every single shot um, how I plan on the back nine. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, tell me what you think. Until next time, keep sending it.